It looks haunted, Matt Stone mocked, little bits christening by media posts. South Park Part 2 is ready last month. Comedy Central aired an episode titled The Worldwide Privacy Tour Mocking. Meghan Markle, 41, and Prince Harry, 38, and their decision to move to the U.S. to seek a private life and Markle allegedly isn't happy about it. The Duchess is reportedly upset and overwhelmed by the episode and annoyed by South Park, but refuses to watch it all a source told. The Spectator Raw commentator even suggested that the episode could bring on a lawsuit their legal team are casting an eye over the episode to see what's wrong and what could be turned into something more sinister this appears to be their course of action rather than laughing it off enjoying the moment and showing the world that they get the joke while reporting neil sean told fox news adding that the creators of south park haven't heard anything yet however the producers of south park are not afraid at all because in the history of litigation with other big stars they've never lost this is simply comedy cartoon recently the news that Lily Butt was christened in California, covered every tabloid not to miss the opportunity. Matt Stone, the main producer of South Park, posted a mocking photo on his social media account with the caption, It looks haunted. The photo includes illustrations of Doria, Megan, Harry, Lily Butt, Tyler Perry, and a little boy wearing a paper bag. Six people are participating in some kind of ceremony, which in this situation is related to Lilith's baptism 30 minutes. Later, Matt's post got thousands of shares. Some fans commented, South Park, Part 2 is ready. Harry and Meghan are using those children and choosing to use the titles now to distract negative press away from themselves. Harry said that it's their birthright and that it was sorted with his father a long time ago. Okay, no one is denying that it's their birthright by law, but why now? Why not when his father became king? Why not hold off for a few months? Is it because they were capitalizing on the Oprah interview where they said that their kids were not titled because of their race and they knew they had the Netflix series and book coming out. Or is it because they were holding on to it as a gotcha moment to drive up positive press for themselves in the U.S.? Either way, those pockets are now stuck with a formal title that will tie them to an institution their parents have spent years complaining about if the institution was really as bad as. Harry is made out if he was a good parent he'd move mountains to make sure his kids weren't tied to it in any way, shape or form he's got on TV saying how he moved to the US to make sure his kids didn't grow up in it or tied to it and now he chooses to give them a title that will forever tie them to the institution. What this shows is that he's fully aware of just how many doors his title has opened for him and the privilege. Can you imagine when those pockets Start high school, your parents said it was an R word institute, so why are you a prince or a princess of it? Your dad said it was abusive, so why are you related to it? It's going to sound even worse in a few years when her upbringing reaches its inevitable conclusion. A docu soap opera featuring Betty D living in a trail of smoking dope with a granny and boyfriend, snotty semi dress kids crawling around a filthy flirt in the royal family, racist for not. Buying her a palace, this is not a win. For Harry or Meghan, 